Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this string matching playlist, what all string matching algorithm we are going to see and what is the basics of string matching algorithm, we will see now. So when we say string matching, the main objective of the string matching is to find a pattern in a given text. So we will be given a text. For example, let's say text B, A, B, C, D, A, A, B, E, A, B, A, C, D. And let a pattern be A, B, E. So I need to find whether this A, B exists in this text. That's the main objective of string matching algorithms. There are many algorithms which are proposed for string matching. So the algorithm which we will be seeing is first one is Nave algorithms, Nave. The second one we will see Rabin car. The third algorithm which we will be seeing is KMP that is Knet Morris's Pratt. Then we will be seeing finite automata string matching with the finite automata and we'll also see Hodgepool's algorithm and we'll see boyer morris algorithm algorithms these works on input enhancement we'll see all these details this is just the basics and how the flow will go so here the main purpose of string matching is to find a pattern in a given text so you can see this a b e is here right so there are many algorithms which are proposed by which we can find out whether our pattern exists in text or not now if you see if i say my text length is of n characters and my pattern length is of m you can see uh, like n is greater than m actually when we do a analysis algorithm analysis we find this equation that n is always greater than m that is the text number of characters in a text will always be greater than pattern uh, in uh, uh, imagination in imaginary case we can also say that n can be equal to m like if for example for your purpose you can take something like this that you need to find let's say text be mangoes and your pattern is also mangoes right so your n is equals to m you can say why this inequality holds true and this does not so basically by the help of analysis which we have seen earlier we found that n is always greater than m and in further continuation when we will study these algorithm when we will study these algorithm that Naves, Rabin, Kapp, KMP, we will be finding the time complexity and we will be analyzing the time complexity and we will see this equality used in, in that time complexity solution. So the format in which we will be seeing the each algorithm is first we will analyze the we will analyze the concept analyze the concept then we'll design an algorithm and then we'll compute the time complexity so this will be the flow for all the algorithms so first we'll discuss the concept we'll solve some questions we'll design the algorithm and we'll compute the time complexity for each of these strings 